Welcome to AI Waves channel, your go-to source for demystifying the complex world of artificial intelligence. Before we dive in, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to not miss any of our future insights into AI. Disclaimer: This video is for educational purposes only and aims to introduce concepts in a simplified manner. Hello AI enthusiasts! Today we're embarking on an exciting journey into the realms of neural networks and deep learning. These are two concepts that have taken the world of artificial intelligence by storm, powering everything from voice recognition to autonomous vehicles. But what exactly are they? Let's start by understanding neural networks. Neural networks are, in essence, an attempt to simulate the human brain. Just as our brain is made up of billions of neurons that transmit signals and process information, a neural network consists of artificial neurons or nodes that are connected in layers. These layers take in input data, process it, and output a result, much like the neurons in our brain, process sensory information and produce a response. Now you might be wondering how does data pass through these layers? Well, imagine a group of office workers. A file starts with one worker, who adds a bit of information before passing it to the next worker. Each worker adds their own analysis or insight to the file, changing it slightly before sending it on its way. This process continues until the file reaches the last worker, who has a complete report ready to be delivered. In a similar fashion, in a neural network, data enters the first layer where it undergoes some initial processing, the results are then passed on to the next layer and so on, until the final layer produces the output. This could be anything from recognizing a face in an image to understanding the words spoken in an audio clip. So, in a nutshell, a neural network is a system of artificial neurons, structured in layers, that processes data and produces an output. It's a fascinating technology that's revolutionizing the way we interact with machines and interpret data. In a neural network, data passes through layers, gets processed, and finally, we get an output. Be it recognizing a face or understanding spoken words. Stay tuned as we continue to delve deeper into this captivating world of neural networks and deep learning. When we talk about deep learning we're referring to neural networks with many layers. These layers, much like the layers of an onion, each add a level of complexity to the information being processed. They enable the network to capture intricate patterns and relationships in the data, allowing the machine to make sense of the world in a way that's eerily similar to how we humans do it. Now why do we call it deep? Well, the term deep in deep learning isn't about any philosophical depth, it simply refers to the number of layers involved. The more layers a network has the deeper it is. A deep network is capable of understanding data in a complex and abstract way, much like how a detective uncovers layers of clues to solve a mystery. But what's so special about these layers? Each layer in a deep neural network performs a specific function. The initial layers might recognize simple patterns like lines and curves in an image. As we move deeper the patterns get more complex. They may start recognizing shapes then objects and ultimately complete scenes. Just imagine it as building a complex structure brick by brick, layer by layer. Deep learning is essentially an extension of classical neural networks, but it's this depth, this complexity, that allows deep learning models to outperform other machine learning models. They can handle vast amounts of data and extract meaningful patterns even when the data is unstructured or unlabeled. Now these deep learning models are behind the technologies that were once the stuff of science fiction. They're powering self-driving cars, voice assistants like Siri and Alexa, and even enabling computers to create art. The power of deep learning lies in its ability to learn from experience. It learns from examples and experiences, much like a child learning to identify objects or animals. It makes mistakes, learns from them, and gradually improves. Deep learning allows machines to tackle tasks that were once thought to be exclusively human domains. With deep learning, we're not just programming machines to perform tasks, we're teaching them to learn from their experiences and to improve over time, opening up a world of possibilities that we're only just beginning to explore. The applications of deep learning are everywhere. It's like an invisible force, powering technologies and innovations that we interact with every single day. Let's dive into a few examples. First up, we have the virtual assistants that live in our smartphones and homes. Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant, they're all powered by deep learning. These assistants use natural language processing, a form of deep learning, to understand and respond to our voice commands. Then we have the realm of computer vision, where deep learning allows computers to see and understand images and videos. This technology is key to the development of self-driving cars, enabling them to recognize traffic signs, pedestrians, and other vehicles. 
It's also used in security systems to identify suspicious activities and in social media platforms for tagging friends in photos. Deep learning also plays a crucial role in healthcare. It's used in the analysis of medical images such as X-rays and MRI scans to detect diseases like cancer at early stages. It's even used to predict disease outbreaks by analyzing vast amounts of health data. In the world of entertainment, deep learning is behind the recommendation systems of platforms like Netflix and Spotify. These systems analyze your viewing or listening habits and suggest content you might like, making your binge-watching or music streaming experience more personalized. Deep learning also powers language translation apps, making it easier for us to communicate across different languages. It's even helping scientists understand complex phenomena such as climate change by analyzing large data sets and identifying patterns. And let's not forget about the world of finance where deep learning is used for fraud detection, stock market prediction, and personalized banking services. All these examples just scratch the surface of what deep learning can do. This technology is transforming almost every industry, making our lives easier, safer, and more connected. These technologies are not just changing the landscape of tech but are also having profound impacts on our daily lives and society as a whole. But how do these networks learn? This is a question that often pops up when we discuss neural networks. Well, the magic ingredient in the learning process of neural networks is a mechanism known as backpropagation. Picture this, you're trying to throw a dart at a dartboard. You make your first throw and it's a miss. So you adjust your aim and throw again. This time you're closer, but not quite there. You continue this process, learning from each throw until you finally hit the bullseye. That's essentially what backpropagation does. Here's how it works in a neural network. The network makes a prediction. Let's say it's trying to recognize a cat in a photograph. It then measures how far off its prediction was from the actual answer, much like how you measured how far off your dart was from the target. This error is then passed back through the network, adjusting the weights. These are the factors that determine how much influence each input has on the final prediction. The beauty of backpropagation is that it allows the network to learn from its errors, adjusting and improving with each iteration, just like you did with your dart throws. It's a process of trial and error, fine-tuning and gradual learning. Now this learning doesn't happen in a vacuum. It requires data, and lots of it. In our dart throwing analogy think of each throw as a piece of data. The more throws you made the better you became at hitting your target. Similarly, the more high-quality data a neural network is trained on, the better it becomes at making accurate predictions. In the case of our cat recognizing network, it needs thousands if not millions of images of cats to learn effectively. These images make up the training data, teaching the network what a cat looks like in all sorts of different situations. So, to sum it up, neural networks learn through a process of backpropagation, adjusting their weights based on the errors they make, and they improve with access to lots of high-quality data. The more high-quality data a neural network is trained on, the better it becomes at making accurate predictions. Despite their impressive capabilities, neural networks and deep learning aren't without their challenges. Let's delve into the obstacles and the future directions this technology could take. Firstly, neural networks require a ton of data to learn. We're talking about millions or even billions of data points. And not just any data but high-quality labeled data which is time-consuming and costly to produce. It's like trying to learn a new language with only a couple of words. It's a daunting task, isn't it? Secondly, there's the issue of interpretability. Neural networks, especially deep ones, are often seen as black boxes. They can make incredible predictions, but understanding why they made a particular decision is tricky, to say the least. This lack of transparency can be a hurdle, especially in fields like healthcare or finance, where explaining decisions is critical. Thirdly, we must consider ethical aspects. Bias in AI is a real concern. If the data used to train the neural network is biased, the network's output will also be biased. And then, there's privacy. As we feed more and more of our personal data into these networks, how do we ensure that our information remains secure? But don't get disheartened. Every new technology faces hurdles, and deep learning is no different. It's these challenges that drive innovation and progress. Looking ahead, the future of neural networks and deep learning is brimming with potential. We're seeing advancements in areas like few-shot learning, where networks learn from a small number of examples, and explainable AI, which aims to make these black boxes more transparent. 
Moreover, researchers are exploring ways to tackle bias and ensure privacy, like differential privacy, which adds noise to data to protect individual information. It's an exciting time to be in the field of AI. The road ahead may be fraught with challenges, but it's also filled with opportunities. With ongoing research and innovation who knows what incredible milestones we'll achieve next. That's a wrap on our introduction to neural networks and deep learning. We've journeyed through the intricate workings of neural networks, understood how they mimic our brain's neurons, and discovered how they process data, layer by layer. We've delved into the depths of deep learning, seeing how it enables machines to capture complex patterns and solve problems once thought to be exclusively human domains. We've explored the ubiquitous applications of deep learning, from voice assistants to self-driving cars to medical diagnostics. We've also looked at the learning process of neural networks, understanding how they learn from mistakes and improve over time. Despite the challenges ahead, from data needs to ethical considerations, the future of neural networks and deep learning is brighter than ever. The world of AI holds many more exciting discoveries and advances to come. So, keep your curiosity alive and continue exploring this fascinating subject. Stay tuned to AI Waves for more insights into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence.